John Cena of Age 11 back here with another video, your WWE Shop Champion. Okay guys, it is now time for the long awaited vlog day in the life. I am going to WWE Monday Night Raw. I will be sitting in row two. I know you guys have been looking forward to this. I've been telling you about this in every single video for the past month. So we're going to Raw. I'm in the car. I just didn't feel like vlogging when I woke up. So there's the view. I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so I guess we're like halfway. Um, well, I think we're a little further than halfway. I think we have like a, a little bit under two hours left. I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog, but um, I actually live five long hours from Nashville. I was going to go to Fastlane, and Fastlane is like nine long hours. Nine hours, but anyway, um, I came here to uh, to uh, here at the Exxon. I guess it's the Exxon or something um, to get a little bit of a... Uh, a fill up as you can see there but uh yeah guys i will check in with you guys here a little bit later maybe uh, uh you know i could just turn on this camera and i could just point it out there and we could we could have a, a big huge uh seven hour vlog if you guys like let's do it no let's not uh but it seems like a time warp for you guys because it's only like five hours it's five five hours for a drive for me is like a five second drive for you guys so you guys are the lucky ones but I'm the lucky one because I have to I have to deal with that five hours five hours sitting right here in this car by the way I'm wearing my Brock Lesnar shirt I have to sit here five hours in this car just to uh, just go to raw but uh, hopefully this raw is really good and it was worth the wait uh, like this is the same arena night of champions was in I think it holds close to 30,000 people uh, a lot of people will be there uh, it was a great arena for uh, uh, Night of Champions, great crowd. Hopefully, that's the way it's going to be uh, tonight. And guys, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I'm ready. When you see these big, huge uh, buildings and everything, you know you're in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm starting to see them. And when I see them all like next to each other, I know we're in Nashville. Whoa! We are in Nashville. I'm here at this outlet mall. I'm going to go find some clothes. So I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. Wait, wait. I got to do the thing. I, I'm going to go find some sick clothes. So I'll see you guys here in a few. Ha, <laughs> ha. Bridgestone Arena. I'm actually here for the Nine Champions, but whatever. Here's where we parked last time. The WrestleMania, see Undertaker's on it. Where's Undertaker at? They got the WrestleMania 31 bus with Undertaker on it. I interrupt this WWE Raw day in the life to present to you. A special WWE Shop Unboxing featuring your WWE Shop Champion. This is going to be everything I bought at the uh, the Raw I went to just now. And you saw that footage and everything, uh, but I'll be ending it and telling you everything and doing shoutouts and all that stuff. But pretty much, I've got this. Yes, they did give me a bag with the old WWE logo. They did the whole all, the same thing at Night of Champions. As you can see by the chairs, they did have the new logo at Night of Champions. They gave me the old bags. I'm like, yeah, pro they probably just had a few left. It is over six months since they changed the logo, and they still have these bags. How many bags of the did they have? I mean, do, are they not making bags with the new WWE logo? What's the deal there? And it says WWEshop.com. It still has the old WWE Shop logo. It still has the old WWE logo there. And I got some more stuff uh, with the WWE logo with the shirts. Okay. Let's get right into this. I got two t-shirts. I bought two t-shirts and it was freaking $60 for just two t-shirts. What the hell? Uh, I, I think they were like, used to be like 20. I don't know. Maybe they were always 30, but I don't remember paying uh, $2 for, uh, I mean, I don't remember getting two t-shirts. 
I wish two t-shirts were two dollars, but I don't remember paying uh, sixty dollars for just two t-shirts. But here's what I got. Uh, as you can see by the pictures I'll show you here in a minute of me on Raw. I was wearing this during Raw. Um, I had to get the new, the brand new Daniel Bryan t-shirt. Has him going yes, doing the yes thing um, and everything. On the back it does say yes. Okay, something that is really messing with my brain. Here it is. It has the new WWE logo right here on this tag. But on the actual patch, it has the old WWE logo. Is anybody else's like that? Or is this a one-of-a-kind thing? What's the deal? New WWE logo, old WWE logo. You got the best of both logos. So I guess that's kind of special. Uh, but whatever. Uh, but this is a very nice t-shirt. I really do like this t-shirt. Uh, it looks very nice. Um, I really like this t-shirt. When I saw him wearing it on Raw when he first debuted, I'm like, that is a sick t-shirt. Okay. I got another t-shirt. Of course, one of my favorite wrestlers. I had to get it. <laughs> the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar says WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Beast Incarnate has his little logo on on the back. It says Back to Break More. Back to Break More. Um, very nice shirt. Um, I did get a uh, large in all these. By, by the time they're washed and dried, they'll probably look like the one I'm... I don't think I've washed and dried this one, but um, maybe they'll shrink up a little bit. I don't want to look gigantic on camera or anything. Uh, but this one, actually, they did give the new WWE logos a patch uh, and the new WWE logo on the tag there. So, yeah, guys, two nice t-shirts, $60. So, that's $60 WWE Shop Unboxing. So, that was the special WWE Shop Unboxing. Now, we will continue on with this WWE Raw Day in the Life. <laughs> I used to be the type of kid. Julian Garcia.
my chest. I don't know if any one of you have noticed, but I've been out of action for the last four freaking months. Anyone notice? And you want to know why? Because of the authority, but more specifically, because of Seth Rollins. I'm here right now to tell the authority, to tell the world, that I'm just now getting started. Okay, Matter of fact, I'm done talking. Seth Rollins, get your ass out here right now. Congratulations, sir. That was a hell of a main event last night.
a great tag team partner. I mean, everybody knows Ryan Maxwell was one of the greatest tag teams of all time.
Okay, I am back home now. It is actually, what's today? Wednesday. Uh, I went to Raw on Monday. I got back uh, Tuesday morning from Raw. Like, I, I didn't get a hotel room or anything, so I drove right back after Raw. Uh, as you guys know, I live five hours from Nashville. Uh, I, a lot of people were asking, yo, your hometown crowd sucks uh, in that, uh, for Fastlane. And I'm like, I don't live in Memphis. I live like 10 hours from Memphis. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay, so anyway, guys, I am back home. Uh, I got here Tuesday morning around 6 a.m., slept most of Tuesday, uh, got up, edited the vlog all of Tuesday and the, uh, the rest of Tuesday, and then today, Wednesday, all of today, I was editing the vlog, and now I've actually done editing the vlog, so I can actually do the ending, so let's uh, do the ending. Okay, so I met Ric Flair a couple of, uh, was it, no, it was, it was last Friday, I got him to sign my big gold belt over here, um, right here, I got him to sign it, woo. I don't know if I can show you this. Woo! Ric Flair showed you guys that a million times. But anyway, in that video, I asked you guys. Uh, I gave a couple shout-outs to people uh, that I wanted to give shout-outs to. That's all I could really name. Uh, and then I asked you guys, who wants a shout-out? I got a few responses. And I'm going to give shout-outs to these guys. I actually know these guys personally. Talk to them. Um, let's see here. If I can find the Flair video, I'll do it. You see, it was before. Not that one. That was raw. Um, here it is. This camera's getting heavy. <laughs> okay. Well, I already know this guy. I don't even have to look up his name. Okay. Uh, Breather35. Breather35 always leaves the most awesome comments on my videos I've ever seen. Go check out Breather35's channel. He's like a New Zealand or something. I'm not even sure. But uh, awesome guy. Go check out his channel. Uh, and then go check out his Twitter, too. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, next uh, guy, last guy, um, is... Mr. XDMX. Okay, Mr. XDMX. Go subscribe to his channel. Go check out his Twitter and all that stuff. So that's the two shots I'm going to do. Uh, those guys are awesome. Go subscribe to them. Go check out their Twitters and everything. And while I'm at it, check out my Twitter at WWE Shop Champ. Check out my Instagram, John Cena Bane Age 11. I uh, appreciate it. I follow back instantly on that stuff. As soon as I get the notification on my phone, I follow you back. But anyway, we're going to talk about Raw. Okay, Raw, um, it was. Um, I drew five hours for that Raw. Uh, I, I drove five hours for that Raw. I was in row, row three. I understand I was on TV a lot. Uh, I was on TV. Like, a lot. I don't mean like a lot. I mean like a lot, lot. I mean like this much. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I was on Raw a lot. Uh, were the seats worth three hundred fifteen dollars? Um, I think they were worth three hundred fifteen dollars. Was it worth a five-hour drive? I think it was w well worth a, a five-hour draw. A five-hour drive, not five-hour Raw. That would be awesome, though. Five-hour Raw. That would be awesome. Uh, but anyway, um, I, at Raw. It was an okay show. I mean, uh, we had, come on, we had Dolph Ziggler versus Wade Barrett. Amazing match. We had a tag team championship match. We had Antonio Cesaro. Wait, no, they don't call him Antonio anymore. We had, we had Cesaro and Tyson Kidd versus the Usos for the tag team championship. That was an awesome match. We, the main event was awesome. We had Seth Rollins and Randy Orton, the returning Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. That was an awesome match. People are complaining saying Raw sucked. Raw was awesome. Uh, but anyway, I, I love that. I was on... Uh, I was on TV a lot, as you can see by those pictures. But anyway, at Raw, um, this is actually the first time I've actually told anybody. At Raw, I actually met uh, one of uh, one of my fans here that have seen has seen my videos before. A uh, real cool guy. I uh, didn't actually catch his name. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's actually the first person that's actually come up to me and say said I've seen your videos before. I love your videos. But Anybody that ever sees me at WWE events, just come right up. I don't care. Uh, and you, I'll probably put, even put you in the vlog if the security guards aren't like, don't want me to do that. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, I just wanted to say, like, somebody came up to me at Raw. Cool thing to do. Uh, I don't care if you guys come up to me. Go ahead and come up. I'll shake your hand. We can have a little bit of a conversation or something like that. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. As I said, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter's at WWE Shop Champ. Which is because, why is it my Twitter handle at WWE Shop Champ? Because I am the WWE Shop Champion. And go check out my Instagram where you can see all kinds of exclusive photos and videos on my Instagram. My Instagram name is at 
John Cena fan age 11. So go subscribe to my this channel. Go subscribe to my vlog channel where this uh, will be up in extra videos. So go subscribe to the vlog channel, this channel, and do all of that. And check out my Twitter and Instagram. I appreciate it so much, guys. And like me on Facebook, John Cena fan age 11 Facebook page. Link to do all this is in the description down below. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching me go to Raw. I want to remind you to go check out my social media links in the description down below. Thanks, and I will see you guys in the next video.